Good morning and welcome back to Daytime at 9. I'm Danielle Bonda and with me now is a very, very exciting guest, Dr. W.F. Strong, professor, author, radio show, talk host, <laughs> You name it. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for inviting me, Danielle. Absolutely. Now, we have something very special in our hands. Go ahead and explain to us what this is. Well, this is my new book, Stories from Texas, which is, I like what one Amazon reviewer said, that it's a, a love letter to Texas. It covers, they're little vignettes. It's perfect for this day and age because they're short, so <laughs> you don't have to have a great commitment to them. Stories about great Texans, uh -huh. stories about fascinating companies like uh, Bluebell, Southwest Airlines, and how they became the companies they are. Whataburger, of course. <laughs> and then great people, Tom Landry, Judge Roy Bean. It's a primer on Texas history that's quick and fast. Absolutely, and it's important for people to know that this was derived from a radio show yes. which you started. So tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. that transformation and that journey. Well, I started here in the Valley on uh, uh, Rio Grande Valley Public Radio. Mm -hmm. I just started doing these little vignettes about Texas culture and uh, most of them are humorous, or at least that was my effort. <laughs> and, uh, and then it got picked up by other stations and then Texas Standard out of Austin, the Texas Standard Network, asked me to do stories or uh, commentaries for them. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that for three years. It's carried on 35 wow. radio stations wow. in Texas. <laughs> so. That's why this book is doing well, really well. It's yes. number, it's in the top 1% on Amazon. Yes. It sold out twice on Amazon, and it sold out uh, on uh, Barnes & Noble. Wow. So it's in a second printing already, even though it's only been out a month. Absolutely, and you beat me to it. I was going <laughs> to mention number one best-selling in its category. Tell us how this is, you know, so special, particularly to people in the Rio Grande Valley community, because mm -hmm. so many people um, have shown you support for this. Oh, yes, yeah, I've been just... Uh, overwhelmed and, and very pleased and complimented by the support locally. My hometown of Falfurious, right? Uh, I, I went there last weekend to a book signing and a lot of people came out. I sold 60, 70 books there. Wow. And, uh, and, but the town itself, just through orders on Amazon and other, other ways, have been incredibly supportive of uh, their native son. So I give the credit to the success to those people of the valley who have been particularly supportive. And uh, then there's a lot in here about Hispanic culture. You know, <laughs> my wife is from Mexico, my beautiful wife, and uh, she has taught me a great deal about Hispanic culture. Yeah. I grew up uh, in South Texas, yes. so I've been a Spanglo, as I like to say, <laughs> all my life. So there are things here, a couple of very popular uh, commentaries are um, uh, 10 words, all Texans should know, 10 Spanish words, and then there's uh, Spanish for gringos about the Spanish language in general. Yeah, and you know what? I've had the pleasure of listening to this on the radio, and I cannot wait to dive into this, but <laughs> briefly, for those who are going to look into it just now, um, tell us about the, some of them are true aspects. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, in Texas, we've had a long history <laughs> of exaggeration, and so I thought when I would do these, I'd say, well, I'm going to cover some of the folklore, some of the tall tales. Uh, so let me just admit up front that we Texans <laughs> tend to exaggerate. <laughs> Here are stories from Texas. Some of them are true. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Please check out the radio show and check out the book. Again, where can we purchase the book? Well, you can purchase it at Amazon and you can get it at Barnes & Noble. And the audiobook is going to be out soon. I narrated the audiobook, of course. <laughs> and it will be out on Audible in just a couple of weeks. We're so pleased to have you here, and I'm so excited to dive into this. Thank you again for being here. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> For more information on Stories from Texas, you can log on to www.storiesfromtexas.com. And don't forget to follow them on Facebook at Stories from Texas.